Those of you who have not yet met me, with the emphasis on yet, my name is Anthony Wood and I'm the new Executive Director of the Council on Toll Buildings and Urban Habitat. I arrived three weeks ago from the UK. I currently have a unfurnished house, a wife and two kids, and lots of IKEA boxes out in Oak Park, and a similar office here at the College of Architecture at IIT. So it'll take me a couple of weeks to get up to speed once the conference is finished, but I'm sure that a lot of you will be hearing from me um, shortly. I just want to mention that uh, the executive directorship of the um, council is supported directly by IIT. In fact, my role is 50% working for the council and 50% as a faculty member of the College of Architecture. So the links that, it, that have existed for 30 years or more between profession and uh, academia is still being reinforced through the council activities. I just want to, in the opening address for a few minutes, just reflect on some of the things that we're doing at the council, because I think one of the things that perhaps historically we've not been so good at is um, communicating exactly to you, members and professional and academic audiences, exactly what we've been doing. So David just today mentioned about the working groups and the four working groups that have been set up and there is a potential for more working groups. And one of the messages that I want to just put across briefly this morning is that the council exists through its membership and it is only as active as, you know, it relies on the enthusiasm and input of all the members. So if you're sat there in the audience or if you know the colleagues who have a burning idea connected with tall buildings, and that could be anything. That could be mounting an exhibition in Korea. It could be putting in for a research funding bid to some national council. Then we can help and facilitate in that. You know, the, as you all are aware, the Council on Tall Buildings has a fantastic international reputation. And for the Council to be a partner on initiatives such as that lends a lot of credence to the initiative itself. So one of the things that I want to touch on, I think historically, um, the Council activities have tended to operate on the basis of... On the basis... big enough that I don't need a microphone, but it does help people at the back. I think historically, um, a lot of council activities have tended to operate on the basis of people being asked to chair groups, to get involved, to populate working groups, um, and that will continue. However, both myself and David want to foster an environment where we don't have to ask people to do work or, pe or to get involved in things, but people you know, approach us with ideas and, and to get involved with things. Five years ago, I sat at my first council uh, conference and uh, thought, well, this is a great organisation, I'd like to get involved in that. And four or five years later, obviously now I'm quite heavily involved. So irrespective of your discipline, your age, your, what you feel is your relative standing within the professional toll building community, we would like to hear from you if you want to get involved and if you've got some ideas and initiatives. Just to, brief, just to touch briefly on a few of those initiatives, we're in the process uh, at an advanced stage in totally revamping the council website. Um, that's been undertaken by Charles Killebrew at Picard Chilton Architects in conjunction with the CTBOH. And that is going to result in a major overhaul where the council website becomes not only the visual um, front page for the council and its activities, but also a resource database where there will be useful information on all aspects of tall buildings. So look out for that in the next few months. Similarly, we've, you've probably seen that uh, the last edition of the journal has been published. And again, there are moves to make the journal more relevant to its readership and widen its readership, perhaps with more um, research papers, academic papers, and papers that are you know, put together by experts in the field throughout the world. David just today mentioned that the next World Congress of the Council is going to be in Dubai 2008. That should combine with the topping out of Burj Dubai, so that'll make for an interesting, uh, a fantastic construction visit. That's 2008. 
The astute in Montreal will notice that there is a year's there, 2007. Um, we're currently in talk with the Tall Building Council of China and a similar organization in South Africa about the possibility of holding conferences there. But again, we would like to foster um, discussions with international bodies who think that it's relevant to have conferences in their countries. I think it's important that the, that the conferences do move around an international setting um, each year before it comes back to uh, America and, and other places. So again, if you're a member of that body and you think, well, such a place would be a fantastic venue for, a, for the Tall Building Conference, 2007, 2009, 2010, get in touch with us. One of my uh, aims as well as Executive Director, I want to make I want to make the headquarters of the Council on Tall Buildings a place that people will come to and have a reason to come to, rather than a semi-abstract body of people that are working on behalf of the Council in various <coughs> places around the world. So we have an office now in the College of Architecture at IIT, and my intention is to turn that into what I hope one day will become the major resource centre on all aspects of learning in tall buildings. And the most immediate steps in that is to create what eventually will become the, the world's best library on tall buildings. But also we have ideas about turning that into a drawing archive resource uh, and various other things. That would be for the immediate benefit of people in the Chicago and American area, but hopefully it would be somewhere where even international people would want to travel to for the, what in time would hopefully become a, a, a unique resource on tall buildings. Now, I mention that because, obviously, we're going to need some help in producing that. Um, help through sponsorship, help through every member sending us a copy of their monographs. Um, help through, if you feel that there are drawings of value which other people would want to, um, to look at, students, students of architecture, students of engineering, then perhaps send us some drawings. Um, so that's... So that's just a, a recap of some of the, some of the ideas that we're, uh, that we're looking at and some of the things that we're working with. But again, just to stress that we need the help and input. Hopefully, seasoned members of the council that have been coming to these conferences for a number of years now, have been involved, some for decades, will see the buzz that has happened yesterday and the buzz that is happening around this conference. David mentioned this is the single largest audience that we've ever had for a single track conference. Um, tall buildings are enjoying you know, a major resurgence in parts of the world where I think a lot of people are surprised. They are you know, a major thing happening. There's a lot of activity in Europe, a lot of activity in North America, a lot of tall buildings being built. I think there are several people probably sat in the audience who are not members of the council. And I think you should ask yourself why you're not members of the council. Because I think there is a lot to be gained from being part of this body and not just turning up uh, perhaps once a year at the conferences, but actually getting involved in some of the activities. So that's some of the spiel over. Just some points of order before we get on to the feedback from the working groups this morning. Um, if you haven't already turned off your mobile phone, or cell phone as it's called here, could you please do that now? Should there be a fire, then I know of at least 50 fire experts, they tell me they're the best fire experts in the world that are sat in the audience. But should you not be able to locate a fire expert, there are two fire doors at the bottom and two fire doors at the top to leave the building. David mentioned yesterday for the students that are with us, uh, very welcome. Um, IIT students, we hope you play host to the several other institutions that are represented here today. And the lunch facilities for students are over in the um, Rent Cool House Student Centre, which is about a five minute walk from it, less than that. Just two other points. I've seen a lot of people looking at the exhibition, the exhibition that runs along the wall. I think it, you know, it's quite an impressive display of schemes which are related to the, the conference theme, thinking outside the box. If you've not already seen that, please do. Uh, and you will notice towards the end of the exhibition, there's two or three quite special exhibitions. One is the work of, um, the work of IIT students of architecture at the College of Architecture, faculty student collaborations. The other is um, a exhibition from uh, a few weeks ago which was um, the work of Fazla Khan and the dedication of the Fazla Khan studio at IIT College of Architecture. 
So I encourage you to look at that. And there's also a fantastic exhibition by Liberty, the Liberty Science Center based down in New York, New Jersey. And they're putting together an exhibition in a year or so's time about the city of the future. And they've interviewed some seminal people, seminal architects and engineers, and that's quite a, a fascinating exhibition. So please make your way down to the bottom of the exhibition and, and see that. The other thing, um, there was an interesting question in the final session yesterday. Someone asked, does anybody know of a good high-rise website? And when someone asks a question like that, that makes me feel that we're not doing our job as well as we could do, because members must not be aware that we have partnered up with Emporis, and every member of the council gets special access to the Emporis high-rise database. And that is a very powerful tool. A lot of the work that you've seen gathering information on tall buildings as well as images is, comes through the Emporis website. And Emporis have a table up there. And as members, you don't have to pay anything. You've got access to that. You have a unique logon number and all those things. So please see Emporis if you would like to know about you know, a very good high-rise website. A couple of people have asked me about um, conference proceedings. You may have noticed that we are getting the whole conference video, and the, uh, the idea is to put out a video conference proceedings. So all the presentations are being recorded, and it'll take us a few weeks to put this together, but after the conference, um, there's going to be some form of video record of the presentations, video conference proceedings. And two very dry points of note, but of importance, the members of the Structural Engineering Association of Illinois and the Association of Licensed Architects, there are sign-in forms for you to receive your credits um, for, I don't know what you call it in America, but in England we call it continuing professional development. Uh, if you need any assistance in getting those credits, then Jerry Kerry, uh, our manager of operations, can assist with that. 